Hey guys, it's Xavier. Welcome to my library. This is where I do most of my studying and uh, most of my light reading. <laughs> I was able to ask you guys some questions, um, letting you guys know a little bit about me, if you had any questions about baseball, if you had any questions about just my life here in Korea in general, and um, I'm able to answer them now, so let's fire away. Early on in spring training, uh, I, was, I was, my locker was right next to Nasa Bum, and uh, he knows a little bit of English, so we immediately hit it off. Um, and ever since we've come to Korea and before Korea, he's gotten, he's gotten, he's helped me a lot, get used to uh, the culture, um, introduced me to a lot of foods, um, taking me out to restaurants, me and my wife, um, and just uh, we we clicked, hit it off from the beginning. So I have to go with Nasan Bum, and um, that's who I'm closest with. First of all, I don't take credit for the idea. It was all Jessica's, um, something great that she came up with, um, a way for us to kind of document our time here in Korea and also um, just interact with the fans in general and people back home. Um, so uh, that's, that's the first part of that. Second of all, I don't feel any pressure. Um, it's pretty light what we're doing. It's fun, um, it's exciting. Uh, just to show people, just have them have a little glimpse of what we do here. Um, and I know a lot, of them, a lot of people don't get to see kind of the foreigner side of how they adjust to Korea and the culture here. So I wanted to give people a little look into that. And um, I mean, it's, it's fun. There's no pressure. Um, I'm actually happy to do it. So. Uh, no, it doesn't really matter to me just because... Uh, what we're showing is, is, is light and fun, um, and it's actually not really too much private stuff in it. I mean, kind of shows us going out, eating, kind of what we, what we like to do, um, and we have fun showing you guys. Um, I want you guys to have a little look into how we do things. So um, if there was anything that was, uh, that was not good for, for us, we wouldn't do it. So we're glad you guys can get a look. Yeah, that's an easy one. I always pack the headphones um, and just I like to listen to music before the games. Um, just kind of uh, just ease into the game, just kind of get my mind right um, and relaxed. Um, so I listen to a lot of uh, R&B, hip hop um, and just uh, kind of helps my mind get focused for the game. Headphones. The best advice I could probably give them, uh, obviously there's a lot of different things I would tell them, but um, just focus on the fundamentals. Uh, a lot of people get bored focusing on the fundamentals and they want to work on a lot of cool things like maybe diving plays and hitting home runs and, and the things that are really exciting, but the things that separate every player from the next is how well they do the fundamentals. So. Um, it, it can be a little boring and tedious at times, but you have to get the fundamentals right because that's what separates everybody. It's fun when you do the mentals. <clears throat> when you struggle, uh, baseball with 162 games, whatever it may be, however long the season is, um, there's going to be struggles. So you try not to uh, take it too hard on yourself. Um, a lot of times I'll try to relax, maybe, maybe go get a massage, um, t something to take my mind off of, take my mind off of things. Maybe read a book, um, watch a movie, um, and but but definitely practice is always important. Um, um, maybe there's some things that I know that I'm struggling at that I need to work on, but I don't try to overdo it. Um, Baseball is really mental game, so I try to just sometimes make sure that I'm really focused. Or if I feel like I'm um, losing focus, 
uh, maybe I need to take my mind off something and, and do something else. So um, there's there's many ways that you can kind of relieve the, the stress of your struggle, but uh, and also everybody's different. So for me, it's just kind of taking my mind off the game and, and doing something else. I do know the first names of all my colleagues, all my teammates. Uh, I don't call them out by their first names because many of them I have nicknames for. Um, and it's easier for me if I just call them by their nickname. Uh, but yeah, I know my teammates. That's one thing I take pride in. And, and uh, after being here for so long now, it's, it's pretty easy, so. Yeah, the biggest thing is uh, just to see the baseball uh, when I'm at bat because the ball is coming so fast, it seems like it's just on you like that. So um, you just want to make sure you're seeing the baseball and um, oh, make, making contact means everything. Um, it means hitting the ball hard and, and being able to help your team. Um, and that's the biggest thing is being able to help your team win. So um, if I'm making contact, making good hard contact, then that's, that's all I need to do. <laughs> yeah, recently I got hit in the head a couple of weeks ago, um, but I'm good now. Um, I was out for a day, but it feels a lot better um, and uh, no concussion or anything, so we're good. Thank you guys for being concerned. I'm okay, feeling good. Um, I'm <laughs> just happy to, happy to be good and healthy.